Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time, y'all. Let's let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Derek Yahuda, Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on the early what I see the script study and prayer line on this 12th day in October 2023. Hallelujah. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. Got uh, uh, <clears throat> Elder Yosef holding it down. On the conference line, got Matty Yahoo Doss up in there. My mom is in there as well. Got big sister Fee up in here. Got my niece up in here. Hallelujah. Banks is in the building. Teresa in the house. Demina in the place to be. Hallelujah. As y'all come on in, feel free to push the... <clears throat> Uh, the, the like button it helps the algorithm go and get your, your share game go and share 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 your platforms with the two for the world <clears throat> and tagging is priceless <clears throat> to ask some folks to come on in <clears throat> Barbara's in the building <clears throat> hallelujah uh, my mom is up in here as well uh y'all know what the theme scripture is uh Yahoo. Matthew's twenty 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 four thirteen, 24, 13. <clears throat> but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Are y'all with me? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, we, 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 in, we in it for the long haul, y'all. Does that make sense? We in it for the for 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 for, for the long haul. That's what it is. This ain't no this ain't no sprint. This is this is a long haul. If we look at it from the most high standpoint, it is a sprint. <clears throat> Cause a day is as a, 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 a thousand years is a day to him. So from 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 his perspective, it ain't nothing but a sprint. In fact, he let us know <clears throat> that the suffering of this life can't be compared to the kabah, to the what, what they call the glory that we're gonna have with him when it's all said and done. In fact, the, the Bible classified it as light afflictions. I know y'all, I know all y'all remember, you know, when you were younger, like it was yesterday. <clears throat> cause, cause, cause really it, it was yesterday. <laughs> it happened so fast. Oh, uh, Bible calls it, calls, calls it, uh, light afflictions. I'm talking about a comparison analysis. I can look back. At the things that is uh, that I didn't like in my life, I can easily do that. I can I, things that hurt me, things that didn't go my way, <clears throat> things that I wish was different. I can look back at that. You mean the Yahoo? And um, some of those things that plagued me my entire life still plagues me today. Demina know what I'm talking about. Oh, light affliction. If I'm going to be real about it. If I'm going to be honest and do a comparison analysis and meet the most high with truth, which will produce an attitude of gratitude, <clears throat> light affliction. And, and that's just the truth. In comparison... Really, I I wish things uh, was different, and I know all of us have things in our life we wish was different. Period. Period. Every last one of us. <clears throat> but 
but he got us this far and he going to go on and take us on through and when it's all said and done when it's all said and done and one number the light of affliction um <clears throat> when we face uncomfortable things b break an arm broken heart you feel in pain What did it serve as? I tell you what it served for me. Whenever I felt uncomfortable, when I was growing up, let me give you an example. When I was growing up, <clears throat> I got arrested. I ain't never did no time before. Well, I mean, if you consider like a weekend time, <clears throat> get arrested. <clears throat> I'm uncomfortable as I don't know what. I've been in a paddy wagon once, maybe twice, I believe once, I've been in the cop car, maybe twice. Uncomfortable. <clears throat> been to jail twice. Juvenile. But anyway, <clears throat> my point being is when I was in those situations, right? It was incredibly, it was incredibly uncomfortable, and it caused me to talk to Yah. That's what it did, Logan. It caused me to talk to Yah, and want to, want to get close to him. I'm drawing, I'm not drawing, jail. I'm trying to draw a picture of a level of discomfort. It made me want to get close to Yah, and then when it. Ended, See the internet when it keep playing, but when it ended, y'all, for the lack of a better term, it's like it never happened. All that pressure was gone. So what it served for me was a time of reflection. Does that make sense? It served as a time of reflection for me to examine myself. Whenever pain uh, hit me even now, all they do is make me think about y'all more, to be honest with you. <clears throat> but let me read this to y'all. <clears throat> Second Corinthians 4, <clears throat> 17. Look what they say. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a more exceeding an eternal weight of kabah. They call glory. Listen. Look at it again. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us. <clears throat> the most high hired affliction to work for us. It, it'd be a lesson in it for us. It'd be a blessing inside of affliction. Sounds like an oxymoron, doesn't it? Listen, whenever I got into a temporary situation of discomfort, it made me reflect on the eternal. It made me want to make sure that I'm right in the eternal. It made me want to make sure I'm right with Yah. I'm trying to tell you that. <clears throat> So when the Bible says all things work together for the good to them that love Yah and it's called according to his purpose, it's true. Oh boy, is it true. Hallelujah. Are you with me? You listening, Demeanor? Listen, <clears throat> Second Corinthians 4.17, let's get this. For our light affliction, listen, 
when when you face stuff like what Alina's going through right now, what Beverly is going through right now, right? Um, Don Deems, you know, the families, right? Falcon, right? Listen. It's hard to sell the light affliction, but one thing Beverly will be able to relate with is she's related, she has felt pain before. Not like this, though. This hit a little different in her situation. It's kind of it's kind of normal to bury a parent. Painful as heck, but but that's the way the world turns. A little different for a sibling. That that hits a little weird. That's kind of like that that'll throw your equilibrium off. Real talk. But listen. So when you look at light afflictions, the Bible is not playing when it says affliction. It really is affliction. But the comparison analysis comes in a time frame of a moment in our life which the Bible describes as a vapor of smoke that appear for a moment and vanish away. In comparison to eternity, we're here for a nanosecond. In comparison to eternity. So what lightens the affliction is the time frame. If the if the span of our life is a nanosecond and the affliction inside of the lifespan is a nanosecond of that nanosecond, that's what lightens the blow. Listen, <clears throat> the Bible also teaches from a theological standpoint, that he was short in the days, in the last days. Why? Nobody would survive. We dealing with a real devil running this world right now. And look, 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 look. And this place is satanic because of them. These, these, these people are the seed of the fallen. Classified as reptilians. There's something awfully dark and wicked about the people that's running the world. Professional liars. Oh, they 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 can take they can take the boogie man and make him look like the two fairy. And then when they make the boogie man look like the two fairy, oh listen to me. While she's running around, flying around like the two fairy, right? And then uh, uh, somebody uh, chipped the two fairy nail. And if you chip the two fairy nail, the tip of a nail, they'll make it look like the world is finna end. And the person that chipped her nail, they'll, they'll make them look like the boogeyman. When the two fairy is really the boogeyman. I'm telling you how these devils get out. Yeah, the innocent chipped her nail trying to block one of them bombs they didn't shoved up. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> they dogging somebody out so bad and they went and blocked one of them baronet blows. <clears throat> they dodged one of the knife, the tip of the knife that was aimed at their eye and, and they dodged it and accidentally chipped the, the boogeyman's nail with two fairy clothes on uh, and chipped a nail, she gonna broadcast that. <clears throat> she gonna broadcast that and want everybody in the world to care about the fact that her nail got chipped. That's the biggest crime in the world. Two fairy under attack. <clears throat> These are the times we living in. Are y'all with me? And that's used as punishment, though. When that, whenever you say, give us Barabbas, Barabbas is a boogeyman. Anytime you ask for a wicked king to rule over you, you don't know what you're asking for. You're looking for trouble. <clears throat> yeah. Because, because they not opposed like they're the two fairy, <clears throat> Nicole Robinson. Because it's on and popping. It's on and popping. What makes it a light affliction because of the time span, one. Two, 
it 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 works for us. Listen, something that bad. Some people that wicked, Trenda. It, it it works for us a more exceeding and eternal weight of what they call glory. Most high uses boogeymen as a belt, as a reprover. He also uses them to get rid of the wicked. The wicked getting rid of the wicked. This is the times we're living in. Because for his children, listen to me. For his children, listen to what he's doing. <clears throat> All things work together for the good. For his children, he's, he's hollering at you. If my people which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked way. Everything we go through is to reprove us, to get us ready to reign in eternity. Everything. School's in session. Are y'all with me? Leslie, son. <clears throat> So for our light affliction, listen, 2 Corinthians 4, 17, y'all. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, listen, this ain't eternity. This is not eternity, y'all. Y'all know we're not in eternity, right? It's temporary. You might not like it, but it's temporary. Don't you ever make a bad decision in eternity for something that's temporary. I'm trying to tell you right now, watch yourself. You with me, Demeanor? Watch yourself. <clears throat> Listen. Don't you ever, this is what the devil will do. This is what he did to Judah. He made him make an eternal decision. He hung himself. He killed himself. You know, it's more than one way to hang yourself and kill yourself. If you ever let the enemy fill your heart like he did Judas. If you ever let the enemy fill your heart to make you make a decision that you're not going to return from. That's why you want to play premeditated games. Because then be like roads that you might not return for, from. What Judas did was premeditated. And that was a road that he didn't return from. I'm trying to tell you something. The most high trying to give folks a breakthrough. Listen. <laughs> And the breakthrough might be for you. Talk back to me. <clears throat> Look what it say. It said, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment. It ain't nothing but for a moment. It's temporary. You're uncomfortable. You feel you've been done wrong. You don't like what's going on. Some folks, when they go through it, they get mad at Yah. Shake their fists at Yah. It's in Revelations. As the Most High will punish the earth, the people on earth would shake their fists at him and would not repent. They would get mad at him like it's his fault. All the wickedness you're doing. Stay with me, Rhonda Ponda. All the wickedness folks on earth is doing, listen to me. And when it get hard, when it get rough, they shake their fist at him and continue to go against him in sin. The devil is a lie. You make an, an eternal decision. You position yourself for eternity, for eternal damnation over something that's temporary. Watch yourself. We playing for all the chips now. Come on, talk back to me. He used to wink at something. He ain't winking now. You playing for all the marbles. All the marbles is right here. You know how they be playing poker and they shove the whole the whole stack in, the whole pile of money, shove it on, all in, they call it. Come on, talk back to me. For our light affliction, it's in comparison. Because it has a lot to do with time frame. <laughs> I be uh, allergy coughing, but I'm going to keep teaching y'all. I ain't going to stop. For our, it ain't nothing but a light affliction. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment. Listen. It's just for a moment. Are y'all with me? Working for us. Uh, it's working. Working for who? For who is it working for? For us. 
working for us are far more exceeding. It supersedes what you're going through. Don't let the devil trick you. People get so frustrated about what's in front of them. And they forget what's ahead of them. And the cold part about it is, Yah is telling you it's working for you. You uncomfortable in the flesh? Don't mean you uncomfortable in the spirit. If you knew what was going on in the spirit, you'd rejoice. Because I'm telling you, when this temporary part of us, this humanity, gets uncomfortable, it causes us to reflect in the, in the in eternal. It causes us, listen, it causes us to look towards the hills from whence cometh our help. And our help come from the Almighty, Yahuwah. Listen. He's trying to get us to meditate in his word both day and night. Why? So we can be like that tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth his fruit, his response, the reaction in due season. He's getting us to the point that we respond in him no matter what we face it. He's getting us to the point that it's a part of us completely. We're being transformed by the renewing of our mind. We're being transformed. We're going through the, uh, like a metamorphosis process. We're improving. We're going from uh, 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 what they call glory to glory. <sighs> getting better and better. See, we're able to bring James into the conversation you know, and being able to count it all joy when we fall into diverse temptation, knowing this, that the trying of our faith, the testing of our faith, the refining is a better term, the refining of our faith. What is faith? Trusting Yah at his word and doing it. Our ability to trust Yah at his word and to keep living and doing his word is being refined. When you got an attitude of gratitude, knowing this, you got to know. You got to know what's going on. You got you to know. You got to know what's going on. You be looking up and looking at chemtrails. Like, what is they doing to us? It'd be aluminum and stuff, and we'd be, we'd be breathing that stuff in. And it's in the water and in the land, because not only do we breathe it in the air, but it land. Now it's in the water. They spread over you. It's getting in everything, <clears throat> including the vegetation and everything. We're eating it. We're breathing it. And, 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 and it uh, attacks your gland. What, what some religions call the third eye. Darby talked about that, that, that eye and said when it's, when it's dark, great is the darkness. <clears throat> but the pineal gland is something that the Most High gave us. The devil didn't give us that. The Most High gave it, gave it to us. And it, and, it, and it has an operation. It's more of a spiritual gland. That Yah deals with. I'm just trying to tell you. <clears throat> but when you see the chemtrails and you hear about what all they doing to the food and all that, this is praying time. Those type of affli those is afflictions, y'all. Those type of afflictions cause us to look towards the hills from which come with our help. I'm trying to tell you something. Our refuge is in Yah. It works for our good because we look at the decisions that our forefathers made, don't we? I know I do. I said, boy, y'all jacked us up. Sometimes we look at Eve, woman, you the man. We look at Adam, man, what was you thinking, bro? <clears throat> Come on, run, uh, Demina. Listen, hear what I'm saying to you. 
Um. When we look at it the way we're supposed to, it just makes us want to get to Yah in a dash fast right now. Listen, <clears throat> Second Corinthians four seventeen for for our light affliction and every last one of us is being afflicted. Bev and Alina is, 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 and Alina's sister is going through some heavy times right now, but they're not the only one. <clears throat> Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Just to look around this place and look at how sheeple people is. I sleep they are. <clears throat> to say within yourself, it wouldn't be happening like this if people wake up and then you calculate, but they're not going to. Not the majority. This is going to happen. What's happening? It's going to happen. It's written it's going to happen. And when he wake you up, you look at all these zombies around you that don't know what life is about. That's more interested in physical things, chasing a bag, chasing a house and a car, chasing relationships on a level that they shouldn't be. <clears throat> All those things will be added when you obey Yah. <laughs> Only person you're supposed to be chasing is Yah. And all the other stuff will be added. Real talk. Chase, like that, that like that running. Emoji, the demeanor just posted that joker right there. On, on, only, 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 only person you supposed to be running toward, for towards like that is y'all. <clears throat> and the other stuff will be added. And whatever you have a desire for, and you live it without it, is considered a light affliction. Listen, for our light afflictions, which is but for a moment, working for us is working for you. You mean to tell me this discomfort is working for me? The Most High is so masterful. He hired death, the most final punishment there is, the most final, torturous, final thing there is. He made that work for you too. He took the sting out of it and made it a platform to create a butterfly. That's what he did. You see that tree that you up under, that you sit up under when you get to the park? That joker used to be a seed. Until that seed fell to the ground and died, it abode alone, but now it's kicking it with you. Because it's shelter for you. I'm trying to tell you something. <clears throat> it ain't nothing but a light affliction. I'm just trying to talk to you. For our light affliction. Listen. Which is but for a moment. He took death and made it work for you. He'll take a light affliction. Get that joker. A job. What is it doing? Working for us a more exceeding and eternal weight of Kabah in Yah. Are y'all with me? The outcome is yielding forth the peaceable fruits of righteousness. Listen, to them that are exercised thereby. It's yielding forth peaceable fruits of righteousness. you becoming more like your creator. We're going through the metamorphosis process, a transformation process, a real makeover. <clears throat> Folks used to be running around here like a like a, a dog in heat. You see some of these refined women? Rewind. Rewind. You don't want to. 
ain't none of your business anyway. But if you rewild, come on, talk back to me. Some of them, I ain't going to even go there. But we know. These, these strong, big uh, uh, Hebrew brothers running around here, Jeff Brown, like Jeff, big old bub, big old cat. They weren't always like that. These youngsters we shaking our head at, what's wrong with them? Rewind. We was one of them jokers. And life has a way of teaching you, but nothing like the Ruah HaKadosh. You ain't really start learning until he filled you with his spirit when the creator baptized himself inside of you and said, I'm going to be the Elohim and they're going to be my people. That's when wisdom started. When the creator stood at the door and knocked and we heard, we opened up and let him in. That's when he, when he took his body off. He was found fashioned as a man. But when he took that body off, oh man, come on. Are y'all with me? <clears throat> and baptized himself inside of us and committed himself to leading and guiding us into all truth. Oh, I'm trying to talk back. Let's, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, working for us a far more exceeding internal weight of glory, while we look not at the things which are seen, I'm trying, this is what he doing. Because when you're young and you're dumb, you, you, your whole focus is on what you see. They're killing our children and destroying them. One of the main tools they use is Judah can say they used our 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 musical abilities against us. Yeah, and they attached that one-eyed demon to the TV, and they showing them glitz and glamour. They showing them the blings and things. <clears throat> Attached with 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 audio of destruction, they're getting them caught up in the temporary. They ain't teaching them about the eternal. They ain't teaching them who they is. They jack them for their identity. They don't know who they is. They think they thugs and thoughts, cause the video said it. The movies that these devilish people produce said it. The money that they paid Tyler Perry to keep producing it and giving it to it to paint who we are and what we like. Your enemy designed who you are. You asked for a king, didn't you? Didn't you say give us Barabbas? Barabbas shaped the narrative. He's still shaping it. He's still a killer, a murderer, a liar, and a thief. But you said, give us, give us, he said, let his blood be upon our children and give us, give us, you got it. You got, you asked for it. You got, you got it. And the most high is so, so masterful and loving that when Adam chose death for all mankind and then Judah chose Barabbas, for all of Israel, namely Judah. <clears throat> the Most High was able to reverse the curse that Adam caused, and he was able to reverse the curse that Judah caused. Are y'all with me? And take the consequence, which was death, and having a wicked Barabbas-style ruler over you. He was able to reverse that and work it for your good. He, taught, he, he hired death to kill wickedness. He made that a holding, a, a permanent holding cell for sin. That's why we're baptizing them besides death. Because death now got hired by Yah to be a holding cell for what caused it. Did y'all hear what I said? Did you hear what y'all just told you? Listen. 
what Adam did was so final, death is over. He took, it's over. And made it a holding cell for what gave it birth. Sin gave birth to death. Then the most high to death and made it a holding cell for sin. Through the Messiah. I'm trying to teach you something. Death is a holding cell for sin. Read Romans 6 chapter. Because we're baptized into the Messiah's death. That's the old man. That's that sinful man. That's that first Adam nature. And from there we rise up. Just like the tree rose up from the seed. Just like the butterfly flew up out of the uh, cocoon of the caterpillar. I'm telling you what he did. And he gave us examples. So our finite minds can try to grasp how deep he is. Listen to me. Is y'all with me? Put a one in here if y'all with me. <clears throat> Stay with me. How many of y'all did your tag thing? Stay with me. Put a one in here. So when we look at the 18th verse, for to go in a minute, y'all. While we look not at the things which are seen, that don't mean you can't see. That means you don't look at it as that's what you're living for. But at the things which are not seen, aren't we looking towards the hills from whence cometh our help? Our help come for Yahuwah. And, 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 and these afflictions causes you to do that. Bad stuff, Yah is using it for your good. You learning stuff. You learning stuff about yourself you need to change through bad stuff. Nicole, man's. You keep learning stuff. All this stuff is hitting you so you can learn something, so you can continue to go through the metamorphosis banks. We just going through the metamorphosis. Talk back. So while we look not at the things which are seen, <clears throat> but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen, it's temporary. I'm trying to tell you. It's temporary. That bill you holding in your hand. It's temporary. There's some things we can figure out too about this stuff. Because to tell you the truth, all them bills and stuff is for your straw man, which is a corporation. And you're not that corporation. I've been telling y'all that for years. You're not that corporation. Who they summons in the court, that's not you. That's the straw man. That's the corporation Your birth. that's on your birth certificate. That's not you. You. If you went to court and told her, I'm a breathing, living human being. I'm not that straw man. I just made a special appearance. I made a special appearance as me, not the straw man. To let you know, quit, quit. Quit getting at me. I owe you nothing and I'm not going to jail. If y'all if y'all want me to send you a copy of this birth certificate, put that in jail. Because I'm not that. I'm just telling you the truth. <clears throat> There's no law on, on in, in, in America and in Britain that is related to you, the real you. Now, if you're talking about the straw man they gave you. That they bullied your parent in the sign and when you was born in the hospital. They talking to it. Like I said, it's all kind of stuff. It's all kind of loopholes to, to the devil in his game now. He ain't nothing but smokes and mirrors and a liar. Back to 18, y'all. While we look not at the things which are seen. Because there's a lot of lies going on in the things you're looking at. <laughs> but at the things which are not seen. Now we're talking. What I just told you is not seen. It's something you got to know. For the things which are seen are temporal. This life is temporal, y'all. Falcon, this life is temporal, man. We need Yah. We need to be reconciled with the Creator. 
but the things which are not seen are eternal. That's what I was trying to tell you. That's what he sent me to tell you this morning. The things that are not seen. Like if you had a seed in your hand right now, what's not seen is what's in the seed. If you had a cocooned caterpillar, what's not seen is the caterpillar. You can't see him no more. He's going through the metamorphosis. Are y'all with me? He finna come out. Do not get it twisted. He finna come out. And by the way, so are you. <laughs> That's why the name of this series is Hold On. Because <laughs> you coming out. <laughs> Without a doubt. I said it. Because he said it. I read it because he said it. And it's written. You coming out. Come on, y'all. Talk back to me. If you coming out, put a two in here. Do you believe that? Put a two. You coming out. You coming out. You, you ain't nothing but an ex-caterpillar. Put a two in here. Ex-dope dealer. Put a two in here. All, all kind of ex stuff is up in here. Put a, can, can this ex stuff write two? Can you put a two? Talk back to me. All kind of ex stuff, what I used to did and done done and would have did, could have, come on, talk back, put a two, if that's you. <laughs> yeah, I used to be raggedy. <laughs> come on, talk back to me. Hallelujah, ain't nothing but a light affliction. That addiction was nothing but a light affliction, and he didn't deliver you from it, Tony Skull. What you know, put a two up in here. Come on, y'all. Greatest heat is in us than heat is in the world. We brand new around here, Tony Sco. Run this one back, man. You're going to like it. Y'all talking to you in this one. <clears throat> for our light affliction, which is but for a moment. This ain't nothing but some temporary stuff. But you dare give your soul to, to the devil over this temporary place. Come on, talk back. There ain't nothing going to happen here that's worth you selling out, turning on y'all, turning on y'all's children. Talk back to me. There's nothing that can happen here that's worth that. Ain't nothing but for a moment. Y'all will come in and change your heart and change your mind to, to set the captive free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, for this light affliction, which ain't nothing but for a moment. Working for us, working for you. <laughs> it got hired by y'all. If y'all with me, put a three in here then. It's working for you. Did you know you put a three in here if you know I'm saying what you don't like, what's hurting you right now. What got tears falling down your come on, talk back to me. The source of the tears will disappear. I said the source will. Let, let, let the tears flow until the source of the tears dry. He'll dry the source of the tears up. Put a three in here if you're with me. Crying. You crying for a reason. It is because it's a source. He going to fix the source of the tears. And the tears going to disappear. Talk back to me. Huh. Working for us a far, a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. It's going to supersede what you're going through, and it's going to be heavy. <laughs> eternal. It has an eternal weight, <laughs> an everlasting weight. This temporary tear is going to turn into eternal weight of glory, they call it. <laughs> the term they use. Are you with me? <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, hold on, y'all. That's all I came to tell you. How many of y'all going to hold on? Put a four in here if you're going to hold on. Put a four in here if you're going to hold on. I don't know what you're facing. I don't know what all you're facing. I know some of the things y'all facing. <laughs> I don't know everything you face. You don't know what I'm facing. You know, I've been coughing and sneezing. You know that part. But you don't know what I'm facing. <clears throat> I don't care what I'm facing. I know what I'm looking to. I know why I'm looking. I know I'm looking on the Yahushua, who's the author and finisher of my faith. I know that. How about that? I know, I know now he's in the hills from which comes my help. My help comes from Yah. I know that. <clears throat> Come on, talk back. Put a foe up in here. Hallelujah. I saw a seven slide in here. You slap some sevens on him because Yah is worthy. Or you can write hallelujah, however you feel it. <laughs> however you're revealing how you're feeling. 
<clears throat> you can put hallelujah, you can put a seven. Come on, talk back, baby. I need a four because we finna pray. I got five on it. Let's get ready to pray, y'all. <clears throat> Because we need him. <laughs> Come on, put five on it. Some of y'all excited anyway. Because the word is your fuel. Because <laughs> the word is your f fuel. It, it, the, the word will cause your cup to run over. Flow over. Come on, out. Rivers of living water flowing out of your belly. Talk back to me. Let's pray. Spirit of living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to be in your presence even once again. Celebrating your your kabah, uh, ce ce celebrating your, your 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 goodness, your your loving kindness, all oh, your endurance, your, your 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 love and your mercy endures from generation to generation. It endured to us, and we about the last generations coming around right now. And we love you, and we believe it for you. We're looking towards the hills from which come our help, because our help come from you. Hallelujah! This stuff down here, that scene ain't 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 nothing, ain't nothing but temporary. We're looking for the things that's not seen uh, into the eternal. And we're looking into eternity through through faith. We trust and believe you at your word. Continue to send your word. Continue continue to cause the problems that's here, this line of flesh to work for us, make us better. <laughs> Hallelujah. Keep the transformation process going by the renewal of our mind because we are determined to prove what's good, acceptable in your perfect will in these last and evil days. And we'll continue to give you the praise and the honor. Not only now, but forever. In the matchless name, Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm on. That was the lesson for the day. I pray we all continue to obey everything the most I say. Okay? Okay. Okay. That's it, y'all. That was it. <clears throat> that was it. You got it, Trinda. That was it. Hallelujah. That was it. All right, y'all. Thank everybody. Push the share button. Sharing your platforms with the truth of the word. Hallelujah. Bless your demeanor. Banks, Logan. Yeah, we're going to continue to pray for Charmaine and her family. Uh, 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 um, uh, 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 Leroy and his lungs. Continue to pray for our sis. They're getting ready for the homegoing celebration in Yah. Hallelujah. We thank the most high. Hallelujah. For Bev and her family, we thank the most high for Don Deems, Alina, and, and, and her sister, and, 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 you know, and we're praying with them in the, in the time of family loss, that, that the most high keep, keep them strong, we, we keep praying for uh, one another, pray for one another, Al Mal and his body, he's been suffering in his body pretty heavy, y'all, and uh, um, continue to pray for my wife and my mom, and my, 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 my mother-in-law, my sister's husband, uh, Mother Katie's husband and uh, battle, battle mom, hallelujah. Who will pay for our sister, our, our children, our, our children, uh, you know, Neil and uh, Kinvey and uh, 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 Terrell uh, Millhouse and uh, and everybody in here, all y'all, y'all loved ones and family. Let's continue to pray for one another, y'all. Keep each other lifted. Keep each other lifted. The power of prayer, the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous developed much. Continue to pray for one another. Nicole Robinson and her family. Continue to pray for everybody, okay? Y'all stay encouraged. Pray for my brother Gene. Matty Yahoo, Dawson, his family. Come on, y'all. Let's continue to pray for one. Yolanda Adams, my sister, she need prayer in her body and that the most high release that money so she continue to get the medical care that she 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 so desperately needs. Jeff Brown, his family, and the loss, uh, they love one too. <clears throat> Bless him and his body as well. Continue to pray for us, all right? Y'all want to continue to talk about it? This lesson, all you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 8156-8. Keep that number because it's noonday prayer. Keep that number because it's 8 p.m. prayer tonight. That's a valuable number, y'all. 302-202-1102. It's just an 8 I love y'all. Y'all be Baruch and Brock and Shalom. I'm God.